What's going on guys? So today we have our amazing cloning machine right here. And this machine, so this red button right here, you might think, ooh, that's a big red, scary red button, you shouldn't be testing it. But this is quite the opposite, because red is actually one of the best colors. It's actually one of the best colors right behind yellow. And in this case, pressing this red button will actually do something really amazing. In fact, this will actually clone this little um, anthropomorphic cat right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Boop. And suddenly, there's a cat. Second one. And we can move this around, throw them out. Um, another one. All right. Let's, let's move them out. Um, and we got three cats. And three cats is quite a handful. And that's a lot to deal with. So we're going to throw one into the trash like that. And it's gone. So how does this work? Well, I'm so glad you asked. And that is what we're about to go over just now. It's your boy, Carl. And I am going to teach you guys how to make a machine that clones things. So we're going to be cloning this poor little cat right here. And... Well, let's get started. So, first step is we're going to want to create a second sprite real quick. And this thing is going to look like a... Um, Alright, so we, we want to draw a cloning machine real quick. Yeah, so first step is we are going to go through these events right here. So um, here we got multiple events. We got like the f green flag. That obviously is when this thing's pressed. We all know that. Here we got an event for different key presses, but we won't be using that. Instead, we want to have like the button, right? So when the button is clicked. And actually what I can do is um, so that to make sure that it's only the button, what we can do is we can actually just color this in right here. And we can make uh, yet another sprite. And this last sprite right here is going to be our big red button. There's a button. Ooh, that's a bit big. Whatever. That works fine. So, basically what we can do is we can say, hey, when this sprite is clicked, because the sprite is the button, then we'll be doing stuff to it. Here, I'll actually zoom in a bit so you can see better. All right, so when this sprite is clicked, then it will run that. And this is a... You'll notice, um, yeah, stuff happens when that gets pretty clicked. All right, so next is um, we want this to actually give out another message. So we'll do messages. So basically, what a message does is it actually just broadcasts a message. So what we can say is um, button pressed, um, and there we go. So basically, whatever this button is pressed, it broadcasts this message. And a message actually gets sent throughout the entire program. So I can go over here and say, hey, there's when I received button pressed, then what we can do right here is we can actually just make a quick um Alright, cool. And we're actually gonna bring this to the front. Um so actually what I'm going to do real quick is, like, if you haven't noticed, what you can actually go is you can just press this and there just to bring, just to put layers and we are going to set this back to here. Alright, so when the button is pressed, when it receives the message that the button is pressed, what's it going to do? Well, the first thing is that, that it's going to turn on the machine. So what we're going to do is, it, or, but normally when you press a button, th stuff doesn't happen right away. There's normally like a bit of a wait time. So we're going to wait um, uh, about a third of a second. Um, and or actually three tenths of a second and then what it's going to do is it's going to switch to costume two which is when that thing happens so um and we want it to switch back so switch to costume two then switch to costume one all right let's see how this works so you press this whoops awesome awesome so we've got the costume change happening then what we actually want to do is we need um, we want a second cat to appear because this is a cloning machine um, and so what's gonna happen is right here there should be a um, we, we can do another message to send to the cat um, and what it's gonna do is we're just write a message of clone cat um, and then here when when I receive not button press but clone cat, 
then it actually gets cloned. And um, so again, I, I like putting in like, let's, let's just do one tenth of a second for this. No, actually two tenths, uh, one and a half tenths of a second. They're compromise. See, compromises are amazing. See, this is, yeah, it's great stuff. And you'll notice that when I press this, this has actually eventually get run because you can see it get highlighted. And now is it the moment we've all been waiting for. This is when we get to create a clone. All right, so I press this button. Where's the clone? Well, actually, it's right there. We put it in the same spot. All right, so we're gonna. Um. Um. Oh right, you can just go here and press. Um, Stop all. Yeah, if you accidentally create a clone like that, you can just press, you can just run stop all and that'll kill your clone. Uh, that'll kill all clones on the screen. Okay, um, so anyways, this cat needs to be cloned properly. So it creates a clone of this cat. Oh, we can also create a clone of other things as well. Maybe we should have put this in the cloning machine. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, the, the clone will be, the cat will be cloned. However, we have this event right here. So when I start as a clone, so when the cat starts as a clone, what it should do is instead of starting here, it's gonna start over here. And um, how we're going to do that is we're just going to move this over here. And I'll tell us the X and the Y. So um, here, we just say, go to there. Yeah, go to one X position 146, Y position negative 12. And uh, let's just bring it back over here because that's what we're going to do. And then here, we want a second clone costume. So... <laughs> do is set switch to costume 2 and we're going to do some fancy effects as well so set um, ghost effect to 100 and here we're going to go back to one of our previous lessons and we're going to use a repeat loop and here with this repeat loop we're going to check we're going to change the ghost effect by and since it's 10 times since it's happening 10 times um, 10 times 10 is 100, so we're actually going to do negative 10, so we'll end up at 0. And then it's going to switch back to costume 1. And this will happen all immediately, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to have it wait a tenth of a second in between each loop, and it should be a clone. So let's see what happens when we press this button. Ah, uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, at this point... We have reached the end of like the real tutorial for like cloning and uh, messaging and anything after this is just like me fooling around. You could follow along if you want or you don't have to. Your choice. You live your own life. The thing is, um, clones don't do much if you can't move them. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to say, um, so we're going to do a bit of sensing. So if touching mouse pointer and um, a mouse down and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the operator and we're just going to get an and and drag both of these in, drag the blue one in there, the green one in there, we get some turquoise, get some if statements. Um, so if both of these apply, then what we can do is we can actually, um, what are we going to do? until that and if mass down then we're gonna put a not operator so we can not and duplicate there just in case the mouse goes off the target and we're gonna hit the button ooh, 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 okay oh dang that's bad that's bad that's bad okay duplicate can go outside right there drop it get back all right so I press the red button we get a clone, and we can move this everywhere, anywhere around. Okay, cool. That, that was awesome. That was awesome. The important part is this right here. This the um, when I receive clone cat, create a clone myself because that's receiving a custom message and like actually creating clone. I can you can delete clones as well if you use the clone deletion. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to demonstrate that right now. So we are going to make a uh, recycling bin to, so, we can, so we can recycle our clones.
there perfect okay so basically um so you can actually have multiple of these at a time so you can have like multiple of them running side by side so uh, an example of this is i can do another one when i start as a clone see now when i started when this thing starts as a clone it will run both these things all right although i have nothing in here yet um but basically what we're going to do is we are going to wait until and we're going to use a sensor so you wait until touching touching what is sprite 4 well let's go give sprite 4 a name okay so um yeah name it trash there we go um so basically wait until touching trash okay and once it's touching trash what should it do it should delete the clone and um actually we can give it a little animation so we are going to repeat 10 times now and like that and we are going to change size by negative 10 and we are going to put a delay 2.1 all right let's see how this looks like so we got a cat we got a cloning machine we got a recycling bin so we're going to press a button and suddenly we got another cat this is great i'm going to do it again we got another cat all right that's amazing now we don't like all these cats so we're just going to put that in the recycling bin it's gone that in the recycling bin it's gone that in the recycling bin it's gone <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> Just keep on cloning cats and throwing them into the recycling bin. All right, so we're gonna make some more variables because I have an obsession with making variables. So we've got call this vx. Another thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that there, paste that. Oh ooh, shoot, don't want that yet. Um VY to zero minus VY and this goes in right like this. Awesome. Okay. In this case, what's gonna happen is, yeah, put it down in the comment section below if you can predict what I just did. Just kidding. Um, yeah, you see, there's cat. I throw it at the wall, it bounces off. Throw it up there, ooh. Ah, I fell in the trash. Oh no, oh no. It's terrible. Boing. Boing, boing, boing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was sponsored by, uh, uh, Via Gen Pets, yeah, definitely. Um, what does Via Gen Pets actually do? The worldwide leader in cloning the animals we love. Okay, yeah, this video is totally sponsored by Via Gen Pets. Um, come to Via Gen Pets today and we will clone your pets just as easy as this. See, look, that pet's already cloned. And look, another one. That's exactly what we do at Via Gen Pets. Is that, oh my gosh, what am I?